Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we are looking at King of Seas, which is by 3D Clouds and Team 17. It's a pirate game with a bit of a difference. It's a role-playing game, so you follow a story. I'm going to be honest, the story is a little bit cliche, it's a little bit overdone. It's kind of, yeah, it's a bit predictable, but overall, the artwork is really nice. I do like that. The music and soundtrack's really good as well. The gameplay seems smooth, although there are a couple of things that they could probably do to make it a little bit better. First and foremost, this is a controller game, um, but it would be nice if they did allow you to use a mouse um, to navigate. You can use the keyboard, but it is obviously going to be easier with the controller. However, PC games, even if you use controller as a main, just, just give us a mouse, give us a cursor, allow us to go through the options and change them with a the mouse just for ease and comfort. On the options, they've actually done pretty good. You've got your gameplay options, so you can see damage numbers and all the other cool stuff like that. You've got your sound, your graphics. Honestly, would expect a bit better here. It's not overly detailed it's just you know you've got your your v-sync you've got epic you've got that's about it could be a little bit better could be a little bit more in depth but it's not terrible it's not the worst i've seen uh then you've got gamma correction gamma correction and you've also got game controls and language as well so options wise not terrible not amazing we're going to jump into the game and i'm going to show you what it's all about it's pretty fun, it's pretty simple, but there are a couple of issues that I've got. So let's jump in and see what those are. Okay, so this is the game. You have a pirate ship. The story is that you are the heir to the throne. However, the king was horribly murdered and they've pinned it on you and you've got to clear your name. Like I said, very cliched story. You get these ships that kind of like spawn in and you can choose to fight them or ignore them if they are friendly you've got a dock where you can go to the market and you know buy a load of stuff i will say that loading times are pretty good so you've got your carpenter here which is where you can make and or repair stuff um like i said the artwork is pretty good like i like the the art style you've got the bank which isn't you know it's, it's where you can go in put money and stuff Again, you get this, this like, you've got to use your your controller in order for this, and it, it just, I don't know, seems to jump a bit when you're trying to use your, your analog stick. It's not amazing. Your market, which is where you can buy stuff, shows you what gold you've got and what you can buy. You've got a tavern, which is apparently where you can hire a crew, which is kind of cool. And it costs you some gold in order to do that. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna We're gonna we're gonna hire a full crew. There you go. Done. You got the cove, which is not unlocked yet, and then you've got raise the anchor and main menu. So we're gonna go back out. Now to steer the ship is pretty simple. You use RB and LB in order to speed up and slow down. Your left analog stick to kind of turn your right trigger and left trigger in order to fire if you want to fire at people um the big issue that i've got is that you can't you can't pan you can't look around like you've got your map which is incredibly incomplete and just shows you where you kind of roughly need to go but you can't you can't pan around and have a look at the world like they're, they're, this is the angle you've got this is all you're able to see and it would be nice if they allowed us to i don't know maybe with the right thumbstick instead of pushing it in to see the map having it as that but also having it where you can um you can pan around and just take in your surroundings the world itself is quite cute it's you know it's it's not it's not anything overly amazing, but graphics-wise, it, it suits the theme. And combat is... It's not terrible. Again, there's a lot... There's a lot in this game that... 
it's not anything wowzericious, but it's not anything bad either. Find some beautiful treasures. So you can you've got fishes that you can go and ship. You've got wrecks that you can go and look at. There's exploration to be had. Loot, here we go. This is why we have a full crew. And then you do the missions, continue the story. Get some XP, level up, do all the good stuff. Which is kind of cool. It's not, like I say, it's not bad. It's something that I can see myself just chilling out to. But the camera view, it does, it, it puts me off. I don't know why, it just, it just does. The story is a little bit too cliche for me as well. Um, and it's it's a shame, right? Because you don't actually get to go and explore and look around the market, right? This this is the gameplay. This is all you're able to do. And it looks like they've put a lot of time into the world to make it look, you know, and as well as it, 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 it does, you know, it, it fits the theme really well. But you can't go and explore any of that. Like you're not allowed you just get this ship you can zoom in on the ship and zooming's a bit finicky as well like you can't adjust it to whatever area you sort of want to but you can zoom in at specific points right and i just i feel like it's a bit of a waste if i'm being 100 percent honest it just feels like it's a bit of a waste it, it, it could have been so much more. Like, as a basic gameplay, rolling around in your ship, you know, seeing all these little cool things, trying to find your way and stuff. It's cool, but there was a few things that they could have done, and, and honestly, panning the camera is one of them. Story-wise, it's written well, but, again, it's just so cliched. So cliched. And I want to I wanna get off my ship. I want to be a pirate, right? Like, when I first saw this, when I saw it was King of Seas and, and you know, it's a pirate game and it's done by Turn 17 and all that, I was like, cool, this is going to be a comparison almost, or, or this is going to be a competitor for Sea of Thieves. But it's a single-player role-playing game that isn't as good as Sea of Thieves, if I'm being 100% honest. Like, Sea of Thieves is a better pirate game. It's got the PvP action, it's got more control over it, you've got more exploration, you've got a better world. Like, I don't know, this seems like, it seems like a good entry point, right? This is a game that you would play if you wanted to get into the pirate genre, but you didn't want to jump into Sea of Thieves because you've heard it's quite difficult and the PvP is quite aggressive and, you know, like... Sea of Thieves is quite a daunting game to get into, but you like pirates, so this is the game you choose instead. So overall, I think my final thoughts are, it's okay, but not brilliant. It could do a lot of things better, it needs a better menu, it needs, you know, mouse support for the menu. It needs a, a way that I can actually turn around the camera and enjoy the world, and giving us a chance to actually ex explore stuff, you know? Why, why is that ship trying to trying to accidentally on purpose hit me? You know, so we, we've gone round. Like these cannons and stuff, you've got all these cannons that stop you from, or stop the enemy from coming in and damaging you. And I don't know, like the, like look at the den, right? Let's look at Eagle's den. Let's let's use Eagle's den as a as a as a viewpoint for my my point that I'm trying to make. Right? Look at how good it looks. Look at how much effort they've put into to making this sort of area. But you don't get to explore it. Right? You don't get to see it. Because the minute you dock, you just get taken to another menu. Why not have it where I can dock and then I can walk a little... Like, it doesn't even need to be anything amazing, but I can zoom in. So why not... Why not have me have one of my, my, my crew members get off and have me walk around and go to that place? In order to buy the the wood and stuff, it would just it would make it, it would make it seem more in depth. It would it would give me that 
give me that that feel that I'm I'm actually role playing as opposed to just taking this shitty little ship around sort of getting involved in combat and stuff and having some some pseudo exploration i i just see feel like it's a game with a really good premise but they just fell short of what it could have been let me know your thoughts guys let me know if you agree with me let me know if you're okay with just you know running around on the ship and sort of going to certain docks and and that being your quest and then you're being done let me know if the story for you is not too cliched. Let me know if it's a game that you would play. Let me know if the camera rotation bugs you as much as it bugs me. Let me know if the mouse support or lack of bugs you as much as it bugs me. It comes out tomorrow. So if you are interested, if, if it is something that piques your interest a little bit, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We are very close to 575 followers, uh, subscribers. It would be awesome if we could hit that before the end of the month. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I hope to see you all next time. Ciao, ciao, guys. Ciao, ciao.